Hey guys, this is Lee from Right Lane Reviews, and this is my unscripted first impressions on the 2020 Renault Traffic Automatic Premium Short Wheel Base Commercial Van. It's <sighs> a lot of words, mate. All right, so with these unscripted first impressions videos, I just want to talk you through literally what my first impressions of the van are or what the vehicle are. So I'll grab these whenever we get the new press cars and we'll just talk through kind of how we encounter them as we go. First things first, it's actually really quiet. The little two liter doesn't rattle around. I, I half expect there to always be like, tractor noise every single time I get one of these, but this is actually not too bad. Steering's pretty light. Um, they've actually put like a, a faux leather on the steering wheel here and it actually feels nice. It's, it's not like I'm grabbing a piece of like shelly plastic. It doesn't feel quite as um, crappy. And driving around these urban streets to get um, to where I want to go this morning, it's actually not too bad. It feels a lot smaller than it is. The suspension's actually quite um, quite good. It's not bouncy. I really expected the suspension to be bouncing me all over the place, but it's not that bad. So this addition of the automatic is really to address the fact that you have transporters, Volkswagen transporters, Ford Transits, and Toyota Hiaces that offer an automatic transmission, and the, the Renault did not at first. So now the traffic has the six-speed dual clutch unit. Um, and so far it's been pretty smooth. It changes pretty quickly. It hasn't given me any quarrels. Torque uptake is a little bit weird, I've noticed. So like right off the line, you put your foot maybe quarter throttle down and it kind of like shoots off with this abundance of torque. And it's a little bit weird to be honest. I expected a little bit smoother, um, a bit smoother onset of power just because this is a work fan. So we're coming up to an on-ramp here. Let's see if she's got any sort of presence. So we're at 60 k's an hour, and here we go. All right, that's 100 from 60. That wasn't bad. I mean, it's not a rocket ship, so that wasn't bad at all. It's a van. I don't expect it to fire away and surprise me, but it's very eager, and it responded really well. So as I put my foot down, do a clutch change down, it was ready to go. So, so very good, very good Renault. Overall in the cabin, the cabin's laid out really nice. Uh, it's typical Renault, so simple but effective materials. Everything's pretty much where it should be. It's got the behind the steering wheel audio controls for the stock, which you've, if you've never used them before, are a little bit um, of a learning curve at first, but once you get used to them, they're actually super intuitive. You never really had to think about where your um, audio controls are because they're right there at hand. And that little sprint on the freeway was actually pretty good. Very stable, reasonably quiet, nothing unusual. And you know what? This is gonna sound weird, but the idea of normal for a van, a commercial vehicle that feels and drives like a normal car, is probably one of the highest accolades you can get. I mean, everyone talks about they don't want to drive their work car or their work vehicle around all the time because it's a work car or I don't want to drive a container on wheels or a tractor. And this doesn't feel like that. This doesn't feel like a tractor. And it definitely doesn't feel like a container on wheels, um, even though it, it looks like one from like the front back. The front's actually nice with the new LED headlights, but um, from the front doors back, it's still a box. But hey, it's a van. What do you expect? You can't exactly make a van pretty. Can you? Can you make a van pretty? The French have been trying. And now I'm going off from a start. And it, it does that weird thing where it searches forward. Mm, there's gotta be a way to fix that. Is there like an eco? Oh, here we go. All right, yeah, so from a dead stop, whenever you get going, if you're in eco mode, it doesn't give you that wallop of torque. So that there's the trick. You have to, If you have the van in eco mode, you're not gonna get that really weird, like, obnoxious amount of torque with very little throttle. So. At least your glasses and boxes in the back of the van will stay where they're supposed to stay. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. It's actually really easy to see around in this traffic as well. Like you've got these big mirrors on either side. And the edges of them are wide angles, so you can actually see most of the way down the van. 
was not that much of a blind spot. Nice. Have you ever looked over at someone, like in traffic, and thought to yourself, the f are you doing? Yeah, that's happened. So I'm actually on my way to film some content with some mates um, with the traffic van to use it in the way that it's intended. Basically moving some stuff around as well as maybe some ways that it's not intended. Like a gym, maybe? So we have Chris Nania from Transition Fitness as well as the guys from Fruit Frontier who are gonna help me out with some content later on in the week. So final thoughts on the first impressions with this Renault traffic. In all honesty, it's good. It's quiet, it drives like a small SUV, um, the engine's not a tractor. <laughs> I didn't really expect it to be this good. Um, so I'm interested to see how we'll go. Yeah. So we'll have the full review of the Renault Traffic van later in the week. So make sure you subscribe and give us a like and stay tuned on this channel for more reviews on all the cars here in Melbourne. Um, also, if you want to see or read our written review, check out rightlanereviews.com and you can also check out my personal Instagram and Twitter at Right Lane Lee. Talk to you soon.